Hi, I'm DJ Michael Joseph, and welcome to VDJ How To. On this episode, I've got something that's going to be for absolutely any DJ whatsoever, no matter what type of music you spin, no matter what type of venue you spin at, or what type of equipment you use. This show is going to have something that you can put to use. Now, if you know me, you know I'm a fan of following music charts. Not like to the letter, but there are great guidelines as to know what music to play. Not, not saying that a song is on the music charts is an absolute thing that you have to play, or a song that isn't on the charts wouldn't be a hit with a dance floor. It can go either way, but the charts are just a guideline to help you to get a basic knowledge of what songs that are out there right now and that are popular right now. Now, the chart that I follow the most happens to be the Billboard Hot 100 chart. I believe if you have a song that falls within the top 40 of that Hot 100 chart, you really should have it downloaded. I'm not saying it's a hit, going to be a hit or make the dance floor go crazy, but there's going to be a very high percentage of a chance that you're going to need to play it or someone's going to request it or something. So if they're in there, those are the ones you should grab. Now, with that said, unless you're a nerd like me and you put all of the top 40 songs each week into a crate or folder, however you want to word that, so that you have that folder with all the songs in the top 40 that week, if you don't do that, there's a chance that you're probably looking it up on your phone or looking it up on your computer, or I even hear of DJs out there printing it out each week. With this next virtual DJ tip, all of that is in the past. Okay, first things first, you have to have an actual Virgil DJ sign-in and license to make this work. If you have a cracked copy, this probably isn't going to work. First thing you do is go to the Virtual DJ website, virtualdj.com, and sign into your account. Make sure you're signed in. And then the next thing you want to do is on the tab section at the top, go to Community, and below Community, you'll see Networks, and below Networks is Cloudless. Click on that. Now, cloud lists are nothing more than lists that different people make of songs that they have, put it up online so that people can follow them and check them out and different things. And there's a zillion different genres and different things like that that's there. But we want to mainly worry about the stuff that's on the main page today. So we're, if you're not at the main page, pop back by hitting Browse All Cloud Lists and then scroll all the way to the bottom. And down here, you're going to see you have the Virtual DJ Radio Chart, the iTunes Chart, the Shazam Chart, and Bport Chart. And these cover pretty much everything that they cover list by list. Now, the Billboard chart is not on here, but I believe the iTunes chart for all genre United States is pretty darn close to the Billboard charts, and it's at least going to get you in the ballpark. So over here on the iTunes chart, we want to make sure we look. We have the United States picked because you can do it from other countries if you want to. If you live somewhere else, then you would pick another country. But there are a boatload of genres that you can pick and kind of go into subgenres there if you want, but we're going to stay all genres. And to activate and go look at that chart, all you have to do is click on the icon. And here you have the iTunes Top 100 All Genres chart, and I think it's pretty good. It covers everything pretty well, I believe. And this is the point where things kind of get a little magical and kind of weird at the same time. So what we're first going to do today is we're going to subscribe to this list. And the other list that you saw out front that the other people made, you would subscribe to them exactly like you would subscribe to this. In the top right corner, there is a subscribe button. You click on it. And it will then show you that you have already subscribed to this cloud list. That means that I am subscribed to it. Now, let's go over to the Virtual DJ program. Okay, now we're looking at the Virtual DJ program. And all we have to do is go over here to the left menu under List and Advice. And we're going to expand that. And then down a little bit further, you will see Cloud List. And we're going to expand that. And we're going to see that we subscribe to the iTunes Top 100 of all genres charts and this is always going to be here so anytime you need to, to see this uh, it's going to be there and anytime you need to update it you just right click and refresh or if you don't want to follow it anymore you hit the remove button there now keep in mind just like anything in virtual DJ you can sort and search in every type of manner that you can even imagine so if you don't want to look at this list that way you can sort by artist you can sort by title or whatever you want to do but keep in mind if you want to go back to the original sorting the number one through whatever number that was there in that list all you have to do is go up into the headers and right click and at the top of that list, resort order. And all that does is it puts it back into the order that the original list was made. Now here's where things are going to get a little bit fancy also again. Uh, if you have the song in there, it is going to show you a little marking there that you have the song and it will let you just drag and drop up there and play it at your convenience however you want to. But if you don't have the song, it's going to have nothing there, no mark by the little magnifying glass. And if you drag and drop it up there or go right click look up, it's going to see what it can find on that. And it might find something similar to it if it can, if it can't then it's just going to leave it blank. Now, okay, here's where we're going to get a little bit more fancy even on you than we did before. If you are a subscriber of one of the online streaming services with Virtual DJ, like Content Unlimited, uh, SoundCloud, or Deezer, 
you can play the songs in this list from there. So if I don't have it in my computer, all I have to do is go over to here because I know I'm already signed into my Deezer account, take this song that doesn't have the mark there, which I know I don't have it in my computer, and drag and drop up here, and boom, instantly, that quick, it's playable. And I know what a lot of you are thinking, what happens if you lose internet? As soon as that waveform loads, you have it in your computer to play. So you saw how fast, I'll stop that, take that out of there, clear the list, we'll grab another song I don't have here, and we're gonna drag it up and you're gonna watch how fast it loads, and as soon as it loads, I can start playing it. That quick, the whole song is loaded and we're ready to go. Now remember, it doesn't matter if you're going to follow the list exactly or you're just looking at it as a general reference. Either way, you can subscribe and unsubscribe to those lists as much as you want. Add lists. You can make your own list and put it up there for other people to follow. Now I clicked on a few more here and it shows some other songs in there. And again, like I said, you can just drag and drop songs as is if they're on the list if you're tied into one of your streaming services and the streaming service has it it's going to be there for you to play and you don't have to look the list up on your phone or on your computer and you definitely do not have to print it out hope you guys enjoyed this episode of vdj how to i hope the topic helped you out there's going to be a lot more shows coming and if you have a topic you'd like to see me cover just feel free to hit me up and i will try to get it on one of the future shows Till next time this is dj michael joseph saying take care and god bless